Ladies and gentlemen, I am John Lowe, the owner of a Dragon House. Right next to me, I have Freddie Carvos, uh, officially signed today, two weeks out from our Dragon House upcoming event, Dragon House 28, um, March 24 at the heart of San Francisco, Keysar Pavilion. Now, Freddie, good to have you on board. Thank you, man. I know it's a last minute fight. Um, three weeks out, we, we agreed to have you fight on the car. So let's introduce you all the fight fans out there in the Bay. Where are you coming from and what got you into martial arts? I'm um, coming from uh, Monterey. And what got me into uh, martial arts was uh, my stepbrother. He, he had been done it, doing it for about a, a year or so. And uh, I just went with it with, uh, with him and, and it's been already nine years. Wow, you've still been training martial arts for nine years? Uh, yeah, just about. Just about. And what's your primary um, background on martial art? We are jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what belts are you? Right now, I have a purple belt. You have a purple belt. Okay, so I'm assuming you're a good grappler. You've got a really compact physique. So this will be your third MMA fight, right? Yes, that's correct. Nice. So now... Um, What's your, your opponent is Darius uh, uh, Ayaz uh, from the Dragon House. What's your game plan coming into this fight? Well, um, he is really, I see him as really strong. And I wanna, I wanna test my stand up with him because the, uh, the, fight, the last fight that I saw from him, he, uh, he kept it uh, for a while, he kept it uh, all stand up. And I, I, wanna, I wanna test my uh, stand up against his because he, he he did a, I think he fought pretty strongly, yeah. Right. Well, he's definitely a striker, um, boxing background with a little bit of high school wrestling. So it will be a good, interesting matchup for you guys to watch. Um, are you born and raised in Monterey? No, I was born in Mexico and and I was then came here to Monterey when I was about eight. So I've been here most of my life. Wow. So you've been living in Monterey yeah. pretty much all your life. And now, who are you training to just do under? Uh, under, oh man, I don't know. Well, it's Sensei Primo, but he, he's under, oh uh, man, I forget the name. And I have it on the back of the key. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I can't be, I forgot, but yeah. Um, so you've been doing Jiu Jitsu for a long time? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, with him, it's been, it's been a long time. Sounds good. So let me ask you an interesting question. So what do you see yourself in MMA? Um, because a lot of fighters, sometimes they just want to do a few fights. Some people want to make a career out of them. Um, what do you see yourself, you know, five, 10 years down the line? You want to pursue as a career in fighting or you want to just do it because you want to get a few fights in? Well, um, I've always been in the sport, you know, for, for as a career, because I mean, I kind of find it funny sometimes that maybe people do it, you know, the sport and want to do fights just to do them without it being a career because, you know, you can't get hurt and there's no brain trauma, you know, might as Absolutely. well, if you're going to get into the cage, might as well look for something, you know, make something out of it. Absolutely. Know? That's what I think. So uh, I trained with uh, Frank Farmer, with Robert Davis, with Neil Johnson, and they were all uh, headed to... Uh, Pros and Neil is a pro, and so is Frank now, mm -hmm. and I'm right with him. I'm going for that. That's awesome. Well, it definitely in the Monterey area, your guys' level MMA is one of the most standout gym in that area. Your guys pretty much like the head of the sport over there. So, um, um, on this upcoming training camp, you guys fighting 150 pounds catch weight. Uh, what do you walk around weight? Uh, usually about 148 or uh, 150. Oh, so you didn't cut weight at all? Yeah, man. Oh, pretty good. So um, what's your training uh, camp looks like uh, prepared for uh, Darius? A lot of stand-up. Awesome. do a lot of stand-up, a lot of sparring, a lot of conditioning. You know, just, yeah. Sounds awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to watching you perform. To some of you guys who don't know who Freddie is, uh, check him out. Um, if anyone want to follow you and get a hold of you, get tickets watching you fight, how can people contact you? They can contact me through um, Instagram at Seven Official, and come check me out. And as a, I want to throw my sponsors quickly here. Uh, I want to thank uh, R and R Development, uh, Boots Joanna, and Native Coast Landscapes. Uh, they've been with me since the beginning. Uh, I mean, since the very, very beginning, even before I had my first fight in uh, in MMA. So I just want to thank them. 
and yep. So. That's awesome. Uh, do you have Facebook? Uh, e no, no, no Facebook, Instagram. So, ex how do you say? Uh, can you spell out your Instagram address again? S seven official. S seven official. So, anyone want to follow Freddie? Uh, check out his upcoming five status training camp, all that. Follow him on Instagram. Give him a little bit of love and support. Give him a thumbs up. Um, give him a little support. It'd be great. Um, if any friends, families, Freddie's friends, family, please hit him up and get a ticket. Come watch him fight. Hopefully, cheering for him when he walked out. Of, you know, coming into the Dragon House uh, hexagon. It's gonna be a big stack card. You know, any special people you want to shout out to and say thank you to? My sponsors, uh, like I said, are in our development. Native Coast Landscapes, Butchuana, and all the guys that I'm training with, such as Frank, uh, Neil, the, uh, Rob Davis, all those guys, great guys, and they're gonna be fighting here, so come and check me out and check them out as well. That's awesome, and um, if your opponent watching this event, what do you have to say to him? Hey, let's make this one one have a fight. Let's, let's make it, let's make our fight the main event. That's awesome. Yeah. That's an awesome mentality to have, you know, so, um, uh, what's your prediction on this fight and what do you like to see outcome of this fight? Do you think about submitting him, kicking down, or do you think about playing with him? What what do your prediction on the fight? Well, I'm gonna I'm just gonna try to see what I can find. Uh, I would like to find see a knockout, uh, but uh, I'll just find whatever I, I see and just go for it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, more, all the five fans out there in the Bay, looking at Dragon House MMA, um, Dragon House uh, at 28, a big stack card. Um, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. All the fight card layout will be updated today. And uh, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up on Dragon House MMA fan page. This event's live stream pay per view um, nationwide. So anyone want to watch the event on some of the fighters on the card, you can just order your pay per view voucher on the DragonHouseMMA.com. Uh, any last word to all the MMA fight fans out there watching this interview? Come see us. All right, March 24th. Good to have you on board, Freddie. Thank you. Thank you.